Every February, the United States and Canada recognize Black History Month, but its founder hoped for a different future for Black history. Carter G. Woodson, the Harvard-educated historian who established Black History Month, hoped Black history would become so ingrained in American history that Black History Month would be unnecessary. But in 1926, when he began Negro History Week, the second week in February, he had two objectives. To prove to white America that Blacks had played important roles in the creation of America and deserved to be treated equally as citizens. And second, to increase the visibility of Black life and history. At a time when the media was portraying the Black community negatively with anti-Black racist imagery, like Black caricatures, Blackface minstrel shows, and films like the 1927 hit, The Jazz Singer. In 1976, Woodson's Association for the Study of American Life and History was such the annual theme for every Black History Month, lobbied for Black History Week to become a month, and got President Gerald Ford to make the first proclamation. Every president since then, except for Donald Trump, has proclaimed the new theme annually. Congress officially recognized Black History Month in 1986. Black History Month is often controversial with calls for Whiteness History Month or Confederate History Month to others including some black people saying it's outlived its usefulness or that it's antithetical to American values. But despite the official designation, there are no federal requirements for teaching black history in school curriculums. And on an average, less than 9% of history class is spent on black history. In some states, it's completely ignored. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.